so look, it's January when he debuts, and January means Royal Rumble season, and uh, Austin is there. He has a decent showing at the match before being dumped. But what I wanted to ask you about, Ted, is the return of our pal Jake the Snake Roberts. He comes out for Royal Rumble in 1996 in bright green tights and a vest, and he would announce himself to be a born-again Christian. Uh, just a huge, huge change from the more vicious Jake that we last saw in the WWF in like 91, 92, right. when he was just like ice cold. Uh, what did you think about his return and his uh, revised character in 96? Well, you know, um, the revised character wasn't so much a, re a revised character as that something that genuinely happened in his life. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's kind of like... Um, I also had, you know, an, an awakening, uh, you know, it's like I, I wrote a book, Every Man Has a Price, my first book, which was about my, it was more about my spiritual journey, uh, you know, but it's kind of like, you know, for me, you know, it all, it all, uh, it all came to a, a, a crashing halt, you know, it, in like, a, I think it was 1992. And, um, the uh, when I was called in, I was caught in adultery, mm -hmm. and when I realized it, I mean, as soon as I realized it, it was like my feeling was overwhelming regret because I knew that I had hurt worse than anybody could hurt the one person that I loved the most, and that was my wife. Yes. You know, all, all, all the running around and stuff that happens, I mean, it happens in Hollywood, happens in rock and roll, it happens everywhere. You know, it's actually if you're a famous entertainer um, of any kind. Uh, but that was, the, that was the defining moment in my life. I had, I had been very strong in my faith as a young man. Uh, you know, I was raised uh, in, in Roman Catholicism. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I I was the award-winning altar boy. Uh, you know, I was the I was the guy that showed up at six o'clock mass. That that's daily daily mass. You know, and when it, when there was four feet of snow on the ground in Omaha, Nebraska, and there wasn't anybody in that church except me and the priest. Uh, but I made you know because that, that's how important it was to me. But again, then as, as, you know, then my, my father passes away, I watched my mother sink into alcoholism. Um, and, you know, I still was determined. I, you know, I, I ended up back in this little town, Wilcox, Arizona, three, four traffic lights is where my grandparents lived. And I managed to get a, a scholarship to play college football out of this little town. I don't think there'd been, you know, I, I, there might've been one or two other guys in the history of that little town that ever did it. Uh, but then as, as I started being more successful, uh, then all those temptations over time, they take a toll on you. And, uh, you know, by the time that I was caught in this adultery, you know, I was at the height of it. I was, Oh my gosh, I'm the million dollar man. And I'm riding around in Lear jets and limousines. Um, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm being told here, go out and throw this, you know, like, you know, throw this money to people and, you know, all, all of those things, you know, uh, of course the bottom line is it, it comes down to, to me. And, you know, when I was gone so much, I mean, I was gone three weeks out of every month mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, it's, it's hard, but I mean, obviously I didn't think about how hard it was on my wife, my wife who's home my wife who's home, not just taking care of the house, but uh, raising our children. Anyway, um, for me, it was a defining moment and a moment that uh, changed me forever. Um, and so when, when I saw that with Jake, I knew, I mean, you know, I mean, cause he, he, he made a public declaration of, of it when he, when he did that. And, you know, I mean, I was proud of that. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Jake obviously has had his ups and downs over the years, and now he's he's on a big up, and you know, it has been for um, I think like a ten years now, and couldn't be yeah. happier. 
Um, so yeah, it's uh, it was interesting seeing this new character, but really, as you said, it was just kind of part of who he was as a person yeah. now. Yeah.